The best entry-level street fighter, and I'm talking about back in 2012, was undoubtedly the NS200. It was quick, it handled well, and looked like a million dollars. And from the saddle of my 220, it looked like a new revolution in the Pulsar family. But it's been a decade since the launch of the NS200, and not a whole lot has changed, apart from, of course, a cleaner running engine and some new paint schemes. Is it really enough to stay fighting fit in a competitive 200cc space? So here are three things that we liked about the NS200 and four areas where we believe it could have done better. Now you got to admit, the NS is still a looker, more so in these new colour schemes. The rich mix of colours, especially the slather of white on the frame and the wheels really make the bike pop. The red paint scheme and graphic looks fresh and youthful, like a Pulsar is always meant to be. So the new colours definitely get a big thumbs up from us. Now bikes tend to get dirty quite quickly in our conditions. And when there are so many white coloured elements, the dirt becomes even more evident. But that's nothing a thorough Sunday wash cannot fix. The good bit about the NS is, is that it hasn't lost out on its brash nature. It's quick, lively and exciting. That's the feeling that you get when you're ringing the throttle and for 7000 RPM, the engine goes into beast mode. The feeling is almost addictive, egging you to push harder to get the most out of the engine. So, thankfully, the B6 changes haven't strangled the NS's nature or its voice. It's properly sporty. It doesn't just feel fast, it is fast and our performance runs as well. The new bike is almost a second quicker than the BS4 bike we tested earlier. The added weight hasn't made much of a difference in the way the bike handles. So it's just as effortless speed slicing through traffic or in corners. It's relatively light on his feet and quick to turn in as well, with wide handlebars which offer enough leverage for quick direction changes. Sporty and comfy? Well, not exactly. The NS feels fine over lightly broken surfaces. As the going gets rough, the front soaks in most of the bumps. It's the rear that you wish had a little more suppleness, as the sharper, nastier bumps are felt all too clearly by a bottom. Yes, the NS shows it's ready to raise the NA even today, but it feels a bit awkward at lower speeds. So, trudging along at low speeds at higher gears isn't really possible here. You really need to work the gearbox to keep the motor in its sweet spot. You can't just kick it into fifth or sixth and relax after a tiring day at work. And it does buzz a bit too. The motor doesn't feel gruff while sitting between 90 to 95 out on the highway, but anything higher or lower and it doesn't really feel at ease. Even the BSX 200 Duke that we rode last year had its vibrations more in control. City fuel efficiency has improved, but that's mostly down to the inclusion of fuel injection, which has improved the fueling to a great extent. But that hasn't made a whole lot of change on the refinement front. The brakes on the NS aren't quite as potent as the engine. While there's good initial bite, it lacks feel and progression through the levers. The front end feels jittery, which fails to inspire confidence when you need to come to a halt rapidly in case a dog or an idiot strays into your path. And this is where you'd expect a dual channel ABS system to save your bottom. A single channel ABS system just doesn't cut it as the rear tends to step out quite easily, making it a bit unnerving. The non-radial tyres also need to take a bit of flak here, as they simply aren't as grippy as something like the TVS Pro Talk found on the RTR200. Bajaj motorcycles are known to offer great value for money and was one of the few brands that set segment-first benchmarks. Weirdly enough, the same company is now trailing with respect to modern features. So, at 1.33 lakhs X showroom, the NS hardly justifies its premium price tag. There are no LED lights, no dual channel ABS, 
not even a digital console, features that are most commonly available on bikes in this segment. And this is just the bare minimum. Come on, Bajaj, get on with the times. The Bajaj Pulsar NS200 has soldiered through nine years of intense competition with mere cosmetic changes and a handful of emission updates. In the same time span, its competition has grown tenfold and even more fierce. The NS's armor has more chinks that are even more exposed. Pricing, features, and ease of use are no longer its strong point. That said, the NS is putting up a strong fight, as even in the BS6 era, it's still a fierce and potent machine. A perfect fit for those who like their bikes sporty and a bit raw. But is that going to be enough for it to reign supreme in 2021 and beyond? Well, that's something that we can only answer once we get the bike back for a proper comparison. Which bike would you like to see the NS go up against? And which are the key aspects you'd like us to compare? Let us know in the comments. That's it for me. Don't forget to like, share the video and subscribe to Zigwheels if you haven't already.